Felon Su-57 Russia's response to Western fifth-generation stealth fighters, such as the F-35 and F-22, is a twin-engine, single-seat, multi-role combat aircraft designed for air superiority and attack roles, despite its advanced capabilities and stealth features. Owing to technological problems, there can still only be a maximum of 20 operational Su-57 fleet aircraft. In an effort to boost Russian military reputation, the Su-57 made its debut in 2018 with 12 prototypes for early deployment. It is designed to replace the older MiG-29 and MiG-27 fighters and offers a variety of armaments for combat missions that need flexibility. However, in light of continuing international military evaluations, questions remain about its efficacy and volume of production. The first stealth fighter planes in history, the F-35 Lightning II and F-22 Raptor, are well known to everybody. These two planes are regarded as the spearheads of American air dominance. But did you know that, according to Russia, their aircraft are on par with the best in the US military? The modern appearance the Su-57 Criminal is a fighter aircraft designed to counter NATO's fifth-generation stealth fighter jet capabilities. It has two engines, one seat, and many rolls. The Su-57 Felon is an interesting but unreliable aircraft. There are very few Su-57s in use, estimates from Western intelligence do not provide the exact quantity. There are most likely not more than 10 Su-57 fighter planes in use for operational tasks. The Su-57 Felon's fleet is so tiny that it hardly exists, making it a more stealthy aircraft. Like previous major Russian weapons projects, the fighter jet's development and manufacture have not been without challenges. As a result, the Russian Aerospace Forces are only able to equip a limited number of Su-57 Felon fighter aircraft, not all of which are now in action. Ukraine serves as the best example of this. The Russian Aerospace Forces have been very cautious with their limited fleet of Su-57 aircraft, despite the continuous conflict. Despite the Kremlin's assertions, there is no evidence to back up their usage in strategic attack missions, their operation in disputed airspace, or their substantial contribution to combat. In 2018, the Russian Ministry of Defense made the very uncommon decision to enter service with the first 12 fighter aircraft prototypes. Typically, armies will purchase many prototypes to evaluate their functionality, and the technological input from these tests will subsequently impact the weapon system's mass manufacturing. But given that Moscow wasn't in any danger in 2018, it's possible that Russian military chiefs sought to have the Su-57 Felon delivered as soon as possible. The Russian Aerospace Forces have been very cautious with their small fleet of Su-57 aircraft, despite the continuous battle. In recent years, the Kremlin has profited up to $15 billion annually from the sale of armament systems to forces all around the globe. Even while Western equipment in the hands of Ukrainian troops continues to smash Russian military gear, the conflict in Ukraine hasn't been the finest marketing for it. Nevertheless, the Kremlin still generates a healthy $5 to $8 billion a year from selling arms overseas.